Will you have your own way, do you think? With the frock? And from what her ladyship said, it sounded as if you support women's rights. I suppose I do. Because I'm quite political. It seems rather unlikely, a revolutionary chauffeur. But I'm a socialist, not a revolutionary. I know it's meant to be kind, but I can think of better ways of helping the needy than sending stiff collars to the equator. And I won't always be a chauffeur. You all right, Malay? Isn't it exciting? I hope you do go into politics. It's a fine ambition. Ambition or dream? You didn't think I missed my very first fire action. I don't think his lordship would approve. Let me worry about him. I have to park the car. Don't move. Stay where you really, are. Really, Branson, I thought I gave the orders. You let me know how she gets on. Please. If you wish. I'm sorry I disobeyed you, but I'm interested. I'm political. I have opinions. Of course, I blame Branson. I don't think that's fair. We had none of this. None of it! Until he set foot in our house. He leaves tonight. If you punish Branson, I'll never speak to you again. Never. Lady Sybil, her ladyship was asking after you. Be careful, my lad, or you'll end up with no job and a broken heart. What do you mean? Please, would you stop, please? My lords, ladies and gentlemen, can I ask for silence? Because I very much regret to announce that we are at war with Germany. <laughs>